Hi everyone, welcome back to Yoga with Roberta. That's me, Roberta Weiner. Um, I've been practicing yoga for many decades and there's all different kinds of yoga. So today's yoga is gonna be restorative yoga. So we've set up this little bed here in the studio to show you that you can do this yoga practice lying in bed or on a couch, anywhere that's gonna be comfortable for you. So grab a blanket and a couple of pillows and let's get started. So once you are in your comfy place, wherever that might be, you can start by sitting up for a moment and just take a moment, make sure you've got the comforter, you've got the blankets, you feel pretty good and you're ready to practice. You're in a place where you're not gonna be interrupted because remember, it's restorative yoga to relax, to refresh you. You wanna to try to be as private as you can. So we'll start, once you're there, lying on your back, setting up your pillows, maybe kind of like this. See how I have one on top of the other, making almost like a little lounge chair. So we'll meet there. So here we are now lying on our backs. So just make it as comfortable as you can be. You might notice I have my two pillows stacked a little bit and at an angle, so my shoulders and my head are elevated. That's making it really comfortable for me, for my shoulders and my neck and my head. For you, it might be slightly different. So just fool around with it till you feel comfortable. And then notice your legs. I have my knees bent and touching. That's actually a yoga pose, believe it or not. It's called constructive rest pose. So your knees are actually resting against each other. So let's take our hands, one hand to the belly and one hand to the rib cage, and take a deep breath in. And then slowly blow it out. So it's a deep breath in. Slowly blow it out. One more time, deep breath in and slowly blow it out. Then let's take one hand up to the chest and the other hand can kind of stretch out over belly and rib cage and deep breath in. See if you can feel all the way up to these little tips of your lungs that are behind your collarbones. You're getting a nice deep breath. We're trying to build up our respiratory system so they're nice and strong. And see if you can feel the movement. Now lying in this position, you might also be able to feel your rib cage come out to the sides. You might sort of put your hands to the sides and deep breath in, blow it out. And deep breath in, blow it out. Let's add the arms, stretching them out wide. And then we cross the body. Reach for shoulder blades, give yourself a hug. And then big, big wide inhale. And exhale. So you can hear my breath. Don't be afraid to make your breath loud. You know, it's, it's what you want. You want the breath to be active. Don't be afraid of, you know, kind of sounding silly. You know, you may be by yourself now. But even when you're out and about, feel free to make your breath loud. One more time. And let the arms be wide. So my bed's kind of skinny, but if your bed is a little bit bigger than mine, your arms would actually be on the bed right now. And shoulders are back. Your heart's lifted. I'm looking at you, but you can look at the ceiling or you can close your eyes. And let's take a few more deep breaths here. Just feel belly, rib cage, chest, expand. And then chest, rib cage, belly goes back down. Let's do it one more time. Belly, rib cage, chest. And then chest, rib cage, and belly. Ah. <sighs> So you're welcome to stay on your back or you're welcome to come with me as I'm going to move to one side and I'll show you how we're going to do that. So now rolling over to one side. So now you can see my 
arm is under my head. If that's comfortable for you, great. Otherwise, you could hug your pillow any way that's comfortable. The other arm is free, this arm in front. I have my knees bent, and I have one hip on top of the other, meaning I'm not leaning back. Though you could lean forward, that could be comfortable. Leaning back, you might get a little ache in the back, which we don't want. So this sideline position is really nice for your back. And you could just lie here, hang out here, and this would be a lovely restorative pose. I'm gonna add a little movement. You can follow along if you like or not. It's totally up to you. And this will be your arm. So we'll start by lifting the arm up, bending the elbow and placing the hand on the shoulder and drawing just a small circle. So we're exploring range of motion in the shoulder. Just a little tiny movement. Think of it as this exploration. What's going on? If the shoulder's feeling any kind of pain, you could lower this right down. Don't even go there. If you feel great, you want to go further, you could spiral out your elbow a little so your circle becomes wider. So now we're noticing range of motion in the shoulder, but never forcing. Let's pause and we'll go the other direction. So you might be going wide, you might be going small. If you are going wide, let's start to narrow it and it becomes a tiny movement back to where you started. If your shoulder's bothering you, put the arm right down. If it feels good, next step is raise the arm up. We take a side stretch and bring it back. So this could be with a bent elbow if your shoulder hurts. That's absolutely fine. Keep exploring your shoulder. If shoulder feels good, you wanna go straight, you can go there. So we never force, we never push past what is our appropriate range of motion. Yoga, I've definitely found over the years so good for improving range of motion in joints, for maintaining range of motion in joints. But if we force it, we can get injured, so we don't want to go there. If the side stretching is comfortable for you, you could end up landing with your arm on your head, either straight it could be bent, you could have your hand here, you could be here. Why don't you pick one of those poses? I think I'll go like kind of in between. Pick one of those poses and just take a few deep breaths here. And once you pick it, see if you can stay, but if you all of a sudden you feel like, oh, you know what, actually my shoulder's not loving that, don't breathe through pain. Go ahead and you can relax it down. And let's see if in a side lying position we can find our three part breath. So again, it's belly, it's rib cage, and it's chest. And you may notice on your side, it feels a little constricted when you're on your back, wide open. But on your side, it's gonna be a little constricted, that's normal. Let's take one more very deep. release it and we'll guide ourselves now over to our second side so here we are on our second side so again I have my arms straight you could certainly hug the pillow you don't really want to go here because then you're doing work. So we don't really want to do work right now. We want to relax. So see if you can find a way that you can relax on this side. And remember, hip over hip. So we don't want to be leaning back. We want that real side. So if you feel like your hip's back, you could kind of scooch and try to have it more directly above. We'll do the same thing with the arm on this side. So we're bending the elbow and we're drawing that mini, mini circle. So again, we're exploring range of motion, never force. We really wanna respect the body and just see where you are in a given day. And you know, every day is different. So if you do this video a different day, you maybe you've done it before and you say, how come that day I could do this and today it's different? So now I'm gonna pause and go the other way. It just is, you know, maybe, you know, think about how you slept last night or maybe what you did before this. Maybe you're out gardening or you pick something up. 
So just respect, notice, you know, without judging. Let's pause, raise the arm. If that bothers you, keep the arm down and just use this time. You know, you could take a nap and that would be totally, totally fine. Let's go ahead, if you wish to side stretch, we're going back and forth. So you have the option of the straight arm, you have the option of a bent elbow of shoulders bothering you. Don't force the shoulder. We never force any of our joints. So this would be how it could look with a bent elbow. Relax it in the shoulder. We're exploring and we're not forcing. If you do wish to hold, Again, on this side, it could be straight, it could be up here, could be bent, could be down here. So pick, and we'll take a few deep breaths here. Once again, you may think, why is my breath constricted? Well, you're lying on your side, so your lungs are a little collapsed on one side. That's normal. We want to just see, sort of try to relax around the lungs, and can you get kind of like fill up all those little nooks and crannies with breath. So see if you can soften and breathe. If your arm is up, you may notice that you're stretching your rib cage. This is good. We want to feel these little muscles stretch if we can. But if right now we're doing it in a more relaxed way, that is totally fine. Let's do one more deep breath. Feel belly, feel rib cage, feel chest. and relax it. So now we're back on our back, and you might notice that I switched the location of one of my pillows so that it's underneath my knees. This is another really comfortable restorative pose where you elevate slightly in the knees, and that can relax your low back. So now that we're back on our back, notice how your breath is much freer. If you place hands on your belly, nothing is restricted. You can feel the rise and fall of the belly with the breath. If you place a hand on the rib cage, you can feel it come up and down. And if anything's tight here, that's all right. It might be a day that you're having a little digestive something going on. You can give it a little rub, a little massage. Just be kind to yourself, be kind. And then you might want one hand to just feel the tips of the lungs and see are you doing a full deep breath. And you might like one more time to open the arms wide as you inhale and exhale, cross. Inhale, open wide, exhale, cross. And then hands back on the belly. And take a couple more deep breaths here. And you're welcome to stay here as long as you like, lying on your back, whether it's this position, one pillow here, one pillow here, whether it's the sort of more of the chaise lounge effect with the two pillows under. Or you can join me as I transition to sitting. Now, there's a lot of ways you can transition to sitting. So one way would be to bend the knees. I'm gonna kind of like move my pillow, but you don't have to. That's because I'm on a really skinny bed. <laughs> I'm going to scooch over to one side, take both hands to press up. It'll probably be a lot easier for you if you're in a whole entire bed. And then I end up back to sitting. So I noticed that I just automatically sat cross-legged. You may like to sit with your legs out in front, or maybe you're on the edge of the bed like I am, and you can dangle the legs over. So whatever is comfortable for you is just going to be absolutely fine. So go ahead, and if you chose to sit with me, go ahead and sit. We'll take our hands, rub palms together, and bring them right into the center of the chest, which we call heart center. And we'll conclude our practice by chanting Om. So Om is, we say, it's the, it's the sound of all the sounds in the world put together, but we chant it as three sounds. We do a short ah, a long O, oh, and then we hum. So you could just hum or you could just listen, whatever you like. So we exhale first, <sighs> inhale, ah, <sighs> Om, peace.
peace, peace, peace. May you have peace in your heart, peace in your home, and may we have peace in our world. Bowing your head, honoring your own beautiful light, we say namaste. Namaste, everyone. The light in me honors the beautiful, bright light in each of you.